we are starting with the humble ampersand and working out way up to its powerful cousin text join. Let's kick things off with a classic, the ampersand operator. This little symbol has been around since Excel's early days, and it's simple as its core. You can use it to join text like this. Easy, right? But here is the cool part. Ampersand isn't just for text. You can combine text with numbers, dates, or even other formulas. Need to say today's date is followed by the actual date? No problem. Boom! Custom format and text all in one easy formula. The ampersand symbol is quick and flexible. But what if you want to join more than just a couple of pieces of text? Enter concatenate. This function was Excel's first dedicated solution for combining text. Perfect for when you've got more than two pieces to string together. Let's see it in action. Same result, but now you can add as many pieces as you want, up to 255. Concatenate was groundbreaking stuff for its day, but it had its limitations. For instance, it doesn't accept ranges. If you wanted to combine more than two cells, you had to spell out each one of them. That's where Concat comes in. This is the modern upgrade to concatenate, introduced in Excel 2016. It's slicker, faster and can handle entire ranges or arrays in one go. No more clicking on every single cell. But Excel didn't stop there. Say hello to the ultimate text concatenation tool, text join. This function takes everything great from concat and cranks it up with some serious power features. For example, you can separate each piece of text with a delimiter, which is perfect for creating lists. Now we are talking. Text join not only lets you add delimiters, but also gives you the option to skip over empty cells if you want. And here is the best part. It works brilliantly with dynamic arrays in Excel 365. It's a pinnacle of text concatenation in Excel. Powerful, flexible and perfect for creating everything from simple list to complex strings of data. Now let's see some examples. Let's try to combine the title, first name, middle name and last name of our employees. By using ampersand concat or concatenate functions, we need to click each cell and add spaces manually. But using text join function, we don't need to do this tedious work, and it also handles missing values correctly. The next task is creating the combined email list. We will also use text join because the addresses should be separated by commas. So there you have it. The evolution of text concatenation in Excel, from the basic ampersand to the mighty text join. Until next time, see ya!